The summit is billed as the first high-level summit dedicated to the ocean and President Gengop will form part of the world leaders to deliberate on combating illegal fishing, decarbonizing shipping and reducing plastic pollution. The One Ocean Summit also aims to mobilize the international community to take tangible action towards preserving a healthy and sustainable ocean. Namibia depends heavily on the blue economy and marine resources and the country therefore has an obligation to protect the ocean for current and future generations. So far, the country has made significant progress in raising awareness on the importance of sustainable development of the blue economy. Well, we are a country surrounded by a blue economy, so to say. We have a long coastline. Besides that, I'm in a group of 10 who are of oceans. So oceans are life. And as the world is now turning towards a new economy, blue economy is one of them. We talk about hydrogen, you know, we got a green hydrogen. These are all things that are making us these days popular. That's what we're going to discuss. Namibia is a member of the Oceans Panel since 2018. President Kengop will tomorrow deliver a statement outlining Namibia's vision for the global governance of the oceans alongside his French counterpart, President Emmanuel Macron. The Namibian head of state is also expected to attend the AU-EU summit in Brussels, Belgium. The AU-EU summit will present an opportunity for a renewed and deeper partnership between the two unions. Where well, again we are going to discuss all world problems, including Africa's problems, including coups. Time for the coups are over. A number of meetings have also been lined up for President Gengop on the sideline of the two summits. These include meetings with King Philip of Belgium, Prime Minister Kirill Petkov and Mark Rood of Bulgaria and the Netherlands respectively. Emil Seibeb, NBC News, Hosia Kutako International Airport.